Hi everyone, Tim Brown. Welcome back for this video topic. We're going to explore overlays in iMovie. So as you can see here, I have my iPad open up. I have an image on the timeline and I want to bring in a video overlay on top of this image. So I'm going to select the video that I want to bring in. And I'm actually going to go ahead and use the sliders here to bring in just a section of this video. And you can also see too that there are three dots here. That gives you another menu option. So I'm going to tap on those three dots and you can see I have five options. I can choose it as a cutaway, picture in picture, split screen, green blue screen, and audio only. Let's go ahead and just do the audio only so you can see what that looks like. So even though that's a video track, it's actually coming in as audio only without any visuals. Nice option to have if you have a really good narration and you don't really need the video. If you, or if you want to just substitute the video for images. So I'm going to redo that and explore some of the other options. So I'm going to select the three dots again and this time I'm going to go ahead and choose the cutaway option. Now with cutaway, basically what you're doing is you're adding something on top of your timeline so that you can cut away to it when you need to. So for example, I can be talking about something as my introduction and then I'll mention myself talking about a project and I'll bring that in as an overlay. So it's just a very convenient way to bring something in when you happen to reference it while you're talking. It's a very nice option to have. I'm going to go ahead and bring this back to the front because I also want to take advantage of some of the other overlay options. But here's what's really cool about the overlays. I don't have to go back to the library anymore because when you select an overlay on your timeline, you'll see that there's an overlay option that now appears along the bottom. So if I select that, it now gives me other options. So in addition to this cutaway option, I can choose the other three. So let's go ahead and try picture in picture. So picture in picture basically takes that video and makes it a sort of smaller thumbnail inside the larger one. And you can see it positions it automatically on screen, but there's also three menu options up above that enable you to make adjustments. So the first one here is a, a magnifying zoom tool. And here I can actually zoom into the video without actually moving the size of it. So that's a nice option to have. I could also choose this option, which will then enable me to move it around. I can also resize and reposition it too. So if I wanted it smaller, I could do that. And the last option gives you the ability to add a frame or not have it add a frame. So I'm going to go back to the bottom menu and explore some of the other options. Let's try the, the split screen look. So with the split screen look, it actually takes both clips, that bottom layer and the top layer, and just distributes them on either side. And you also have some flexibility here too. I can also zoom in to the video here as well. And here you can actually just rotate the different positions. Here, just flip it from right to left to left to right, and another horizontal view again. So that's a nice option to have. And the last option lets you add a dividing line between the two pictures, or you can just choose to deselect it and not have one. But that's a really nice option to have too. So even though it looks rather streamlined, you actually have five different options for using these overlays. So with that selected, I'm gonna bring up that menu one more time, and now I'm going to go ahead and choose the green screen option. And with the green screen option, you'll see that what iMovie does is it takes out the background automatically. Now the most important thing to keep in mind when you're doing this is that the green screen has to be pretty well lit and so does your subject or you're going to have some discrepancies because iMovie does not have a whole lot of tools to drill down into getting that key exactly the way you want it. So it pretty much has to be on point when you're using this feature. And as you can see here, for the most part, the key turned out pretty good. So I guess my lighting was okay. It does make some subtle changes. So if you tap on this slider here, you see it controls the strength. You obviously don't want to take out too much of your key, but if you have to make some subtle uh, adjustments, you can do that with the strength key. And then there's this other option where you can crop it, uh, especially if you have a lot of content going on on screen 
cropping the video will come in handy. And you just take these sort of yellow lines and just move them around to where you want to crop it. Now the only thing you cannot do is you cannot move it around. I mean, wherever it comes in, that's pretty much where it is. And that's when you're using the, the green screen, blue screen option. I think you should play around with these features because you really can achieve a lot of really great results by using these overlay options.